What's up team? I'm former United States Army Ranger Joshua Thompson. Today I wanted to break some common misconceptions about education and the military, specifically for lower enlisted. Sometimes I get messages or I see comments in my comment section stating that the military is only going to stagnate your life. Also saying that uh, it's for losers who aren't smart enough to get into college. Guys, that is the furthest thing from the truth. In fact, it used to be the reverse where people would deliberately join the military specifically for the college benefits. Right? There's several movies about this concept, Sandcastle being one of them. If you guys enjoy me covering topics just like this one, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. We recently hit 2k subscribers, thank you guys so much for the support so far. Alright, so first I'm going to go into the common misconceptions, then I'm going to go into why you specifically need your education in the military, and then finally how you can get started getting your education and working towards those credits. So the most common misconception about the military, I don't know how this is misconception because the military is literally known for people joining specifically for the college benefits, but it's a misconception that the military is a waste of time and then you should just go to college to school instead. Unless you are in a specific situation where your college is completely paid for because of your family or it's paid for because of a scholarship, unless you're in that specific situation where your college is completely paid for, then this is probably the most budgeted route going to college. It's pretty funny that people actually believe this. The government basically pays for your entire education. So I don't know how people actually believe this, but Whatever, whether you're going through ROTC, you're in the military, or you're going through National Guard, basically almost all of these routes, the government pays for your entire education. And then once you earn your GI benefits, the government not only pays for all of your classes, but they give you additional income just because you're going to college and I'll get in more into that later. The next misconception is something I see a lot, even amongst my Ranger buddies, they don't think they have enough time to work towards their degree or to work towards those credits. I know how much you guys value your free time and your social life. At the time, it definitely feels better to invest into that versus your future. However, in most cases, especially for lower enlisted, you probably have more free time to work towards your degree than you actually think. First of all, everyone in the military gets almost every single weekend and holiday off with the exception of, you know, CQ or whatever. And particularly for lower enlisted, I'm speaking from my own experience, we would usually get off around 1430 to 1700, somewhere around that range. So especially on the days where you get off earlier, it's extremely easy to put in work for your college degree. And honestly guys, if you only put on like two classes a semester, that's not gonna really affect your social life or your free time really all that much. The next misconception I see a lot is, I'm going the full 20 years, uh, I don't need an education if I'm just gonna be in the military for my entire career. I'm gonna tell you right now, especially if you watch my channel and you want to go into like units like the 75th Ranger Regiment or Special Operations, those units, once you get to senior listed positions, they require you to have certain amount of credits or at least your associate's degree when it comes to getting those promotions. So if you haven't earned those college credits by the time you reach that senior enlisted position, you're not going to get promoted. So I highly suggest that you start working towards that degree super early in your career so you don't have to worry about it later on, later on down. On top of that, it's gonna make you a more rounded soldier uh, in terms of performance, outperforming your peers, and teaching you skills specifically that you learn in college. If you guys think you're too old, I promise you, you are not. All right, unless you have cancer, and you have six months to live, I promise you, you are not too old. <laughs> so you might be wondering why you need a degree. Well, obviously I already went over why you specifically need it when it comes to promotions for senior enlisted. Obviously you need it when you want to become an officer going green to gold, but ultimately the, probably the most important reason that I see, you're probably going to need it somewhere down the line in your career. The reason why it's so important to start early is because if you are like me and you procrastinate for like a year, that accumulates and add years to the back end that could have been avoided if you just started earlier. Specifically for my case, once I got done with Ranger School, it took me almost an entire year to get started into my education process. And to this day, it still affects me because I'm still in school. I still haven't graduated with my degree yet when I could have if I just started the year earlier. If you go through the Army Ignited system that they give you at least 16 credits worth of semester credits uh, per fiscal year. I could have used those, I could have been graduated by now if I just had done that earlier. Additionally, it's going to skyrocket your success rate when you ETS out of the military and make that uh, civilian transition. Because I'm going to be completely honest, you're going to have a lot easier time making that transition versus if you did not have that degree. And even if you don't have that degree yet, 
The transition is made easier through the post 9-11 GI Bill. Through this bill, the government not only pays for all your classes, but also pays you house allowance based on the area of where you go to school at. For my particular case, since the cost of living is particularly high in my area, I get around $2,600 extra just because I'm going to school. So basically you get paid to go to school. I recommend starting as soon as it is possible. You might be wondering, hey, I just graduated RAS. I know I'm going to Ranger School sometime soon. Maybe I should wait till after Ranger School. And the answer to that question is most likely yes. Right? I was the same way. I went to Ranger School, I think it was like three or four months after I got to Ranger Regiment. So yes, you ultimately want to wait until you get that done. But I know some battalions like 375 like to get guys deployments before they send them to school. If you have enough time to squeeze in like a semester or two before you get sent to school, I recommend doing that because ultimately you're saving more time for yourself on the back end. Another thing I saw uh, from guys that I worked with all the time is that they were worried that they wouldn't be able to get credits while they were deployed. And guys, I was able to do that. I was able to take two classes two courses while I was overseas and deployed. So yes, it is possible to take classes while you're deployed. If your workload is extremely heavy or you value your free time, then I would suggest at least taking one class while you are deployed. I know the workload can be pretty heavy. When I was deployed, everything was extremely structured and I was extremely productive in that environment. So that's why I was able to take two classes. And then finally, if you have a specific MOS, that gives you college credits. For example, 30 Fox Training was working with Cochise College, which is in the area of Huachuca. They ultimately give you college credits for specifically for the 35 Fox course. Basically, all you need are a couple of electives and boom, you have an associate's degree just like that. For the time when I was going through, they made you pay 60 bucks, but what's 60 bucks compared to tens of thousands of dollars going into debt for <laughs> A degree. I imagine that you've saved up a couple of dollars unless you fell for the scams at basic training where you bought those plaques for your girlfriend. But ultimately it's extremely easy to save when you're in a training environment. So basically the army is still paying for it. Imagine having to pay for college. So how do you get started? Obviously you need to go talk to your education counselor. I'm pretty sure every unit has one of these. If you already know what kind of degree it's pretty easy. You just Go in, you tell them your, their degree and they'll suggest to you some colleges that provide that degree. But if you don't know what kind of degree you want, then I suggest discussing topics of interest with your education counselor so that they can suggest to you what kind of courses align with your interests. This is important because it can help you get started in something you're generally interested in and you will complete the work because you actually enjoy it. And then from there, obviously, once you get suggested the college that aligns with your particular degree that you wanna go after, then you just apply to there. And then once you get accepted, you can start working towards that degree. And I guarantee this process is probably gonna be easier for you because when I did this, I was overseas. I had to align um, times and schedules so that I can talk to my education counselor and that particular college education counselor so that I can align my um, college. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys have not started your education in the military, I highly suggest that you do because eventually in your career, you're probably gonna come across somewhere that requires a degree. And ultimately from my perspective, having your education is part of being a ranger. I believe as a ranger, we must hold ourselves to a high standard in all areas of our life and our education is no exception. If you guys like what you heard, share it with your ranger buddy. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.